What's up, team? Sean for us to live here, and it's not looking great from Meta after these earnings. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right on in. So here's the headlines. A lot of people were wondering what was going to happen here. I don't think it's overly surprising, but maybe surprising to the degree of which things happened here. So Meta is the new name for Facebook. For everyone who knows, they've been very focused on the metaverse, but let's call it what it is. The core business is still ads, and those ads are important to understanding they're going to market, how they make money, how they build the metaverse, right? And in the process of getting there, I think we expect a lot of bumps in the road. I think the general macroeconomic environment is probably very challenging as well. So I don't want to say this is terrible at the end of the world, but it is bad. And it's not a good look for investors who are really saying to, saying to them, like, look, if I'm not in this for the long haul with Meta, I might want to jump out. And that's the concern that I have looking at this right now from a stock perspective, from a company perspective is, are their future plans going to affect the near-term earnings and for how long? I want to call it out first and foremost. I'm not a short-term player. I could care less typically about earnings, but it's more about directionality and the trends there within the business. So this could be a blip on the radar or it could not be. So here's the headlines that everyone's reporting, right? Meta, er Meta earnings miss expectations. Net income plummets by 36%. Yikes. So all this came out today um, after the closing on Wednesday. And look, here's what we know. They obviously missed expectations from analysts by quite a bit. Um, their Q3 revenue forecasts also, right? Not good from a margin perspective. Um, and the bigger sort of, I don't wanna say exciting point to hear, but like just in general, something to be aware of. This was also the first year over year revenue decline ever in the history of the company. Not great. And it's a sign of the times, sure, but it's a sign of competition. It's a sign of, of people going to different places to get what they want here. So from a high level perspective, and this won't be a super long debrief on this topic, um, these were sort of the things that we really were most focused on from what came out of the report. Um, revenue was 28.8 billion versus 28.9 billion expected. So Revenue wasn't a huge miss, not to say that 100 million is not a lot of money, it is, but not a huge miss. But earnings per share was 246 versus what was expected to be 254, $2.54 that is. Um, here's the part that I think is probably a little bit more concerning. Um, when I went through sort of YC, Y Combinator Startup School years ago, and I watched a lot of videos about Facebook and their North Star and their growth and how they focus on growth. They really know their numbers. They know their metrics. They know their analytics. So the thing that stood out to me the most from this current earnings is their daily active users. There was 1.97 billion versus 1.95 billion expected. Now, the reason, though, this good news feels bad to me is they had more active users than expected, but everything else took a beating, the revenue, earnings per share, and the margins. That's what sort of concerns me in general how I think about this and how I look at it. Now, what I want to do is <laughs> I'm going to share my screen because I think that there's no way to do justice here other than just sharing this with everybody. So let me find my share button uh, because this is sort of like a true, if this isn't a true uh, understanding of what's happening at Meta, I don't know what is. Um, sorry, give me one second to share this. So come on, where's my button? Sorry, everybody for that. It's taking too long. So all I simply searched for was meta earnings. And this was the top results, right? From CNBC, meta reports earnings, revenues miss and forecasts second straight quarter of, goes on to say declines. Down below, right? The FTC is suing meta to block the acquisition of a VR company. I'm gonna talk about this in a second, right? Meta reports revenue decline for the first time ever. Facebook's parent meta posts first revenue decline in history. Another FTC is suing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So not only are earnings not great, not only is net rev not great, um, they've got more lawsuits than ever that are standing in the way of what they need to do within the metaverse. So we've got a company that is seeing hits in the ad space. They're seeing hits in earnings. They're not seeing engagement at, at scale if we have more users, but still are engaging less with ads, reducing in lower ad costs, by the way, that was also in the earnings. But the reason the FTC piece is really interesting here is I think that finally the FTC is, is in a position to have a little bit of um, thick skin in this game, right? Or a little bit of more spine than they've had traditionally. 
what they're saying to them is, look, you're already the leader in the metaverse. You can't start acquiring companies and taking out all of your competition. Now, this is not what has traditionally been happening at Facebook in terms of acquisitions. So this stands out to me as a moment to really stand back as an investor, potentially, and say like, geez, you know, if I'm betting on the metaverse and the FTC is already shutting down acquisitions or at a minimum challenging what they want to do from an M&A perspective, it's a reason to be concerned. Now, I oftentimes on this channel will say, I don't focus purely on stock or market cap. I look at the whole company as well as the macroeconomic environment that it lives and breathes within. And Facebook is a global company. You could even argue that with Meta and the metaverse, they're almost like creating their own global economy to some degree. I know that that can ebb and flow and how we want to look into it. But there's another component we haven't talked about that's pretty serious and frankly is a big deal, right? Um, we have this little player that we all know as TikTok, right? And the problem is that Meta is really being compared to TikTok in terms of earnings, in terms of user growth, in terms of who they're losing to that platform and who they're not getting on their platform because of it. So although they're focused on certain things like reels, et cetera, um, it's not really challenging TikTok, it would appear. Now, all that being said though, TikTok has its own problems. Clearly there's some issues in data collection. Clearly there's some issues in who actually owns this and is using the data within it. But I've got news for everybody. The average user doesn't seem to care whatsoever. Um, I look at TikTok, I have a TikTok channel and you know it's got good engagement. Um, I can't make sense of what 90% of the posts even are. I don't understand um, how, why more and more content creators are going there because I don't see the value as a creator and I don't get the information like I do from a Twitter they don't get the sort of attachment as we used to see in Facebook. So the question here for me is, is TikTok really going to eat Facebook's lunch, number one? And if they do, does Facebook actually care if long-term they could be successful with Meta? So I think my entire thesis, and I'm going to wrap it up here, my entire thesis on, on Meta slash Facebook is this. You really need to be a believer in what they're going to bring to the table in terms of the next engagement level. And maybe that's within Meta. Maybe that's within their VR or AR. Maybe that's within the fitness app space or some other cool usage of their technology. If you think that that is a bust and there's nothing there to be had from a revenue perspective or it's not gonna be as big as they think it is, then I think there's a reason to be very, very concerned because if ads are declining, revenue is shrinking, margins are shrinking, and the cost of ads is shrinking as well, that is a bad, bad, bad sign. And if my customers that I want to target aren't on Facebook and they're on TikTok and others as well, that's a really big concern for me also. So that, that's it. The, the earnings were a disaster. They've got FTC issues. They're losing to TikTok. And they're putting all their eggs in the basket of the metaverse. And that's great if they execute. And look, I'll say, what, I'll say it like it is. Zuckerberg has continuously proven that he can execute and he can get things done. But we did see sort of the disaster around the crypto space that they were trying to get into with their own crypto coin. There's been considerably increasing concerns with the FTC as well as the SEC if they try to do something there as well. So what you have to ask yourself here, and this is not a question I can answer, unfortunately, at this point, is, is the future of Facebook in the metaverse? And is it big enough to justify getting into this position? If it's not, or you're not sure, then you need to think about ways to protect your investment, or you need to think about ways to hedge your investment, right? We've talked on this channel before about the idea of, you know, leveraging puts to protect your downside or playing straddles to try to take advantage of both directional opportunities. So I'm just going to call it out again. You need to understand the play, the thesis, and the overarching economics of what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, what I will say is this, though. I'm equally concerned about TikTok in terms of what happens if there's a breach. What happens if we find out the data is being taken and used? What happens if it's shut down in the U.S.? Any of those things can happen. So the question then becomes, if not TikTok, if not Facebook, where? Where is the opportunity? Maybe it's not in this space at all. Maybe it's somewhere completely disparate. Maybe it's in a place we haven't seen yet. But all things we need to ask ourselves as investors. So with that, it's just an unadulterated take on the earnings, a disaster, all the other issues they're dealing with, I think, on top of it. It's not great. So I'm going to sum it up with this. I think the poop is finally going to hit the fan and it's going to be hitting meta at full speed very soon here. So with that, thanks so much for watching. Hope you appreciate it. If there's any other earnings you'd like me to go over, and I'm happy to go into much deeper detail than this, just let me know. Happy to do it. Otherwise, 
Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it, team. Have a good one.